In the massive scope of the YouTube landscape, only a handful of creators have been able to garner a loyal audience on the platform, with many of its users never finding any success. The Truth DT is one of the few creators on YouTube who has struck gold and fostered a loyal audience in the span of 12 years. Through dedication and unwavering passion, the Truth DT became one of the most well-known Dokkan Battle content creators the space has seen. But as with many content creators on the website, the Truth DT isn't without his many ups and downs. So join me as we go through the Truth DT's master journey on YouTube and what exactly made him the LR King. Hello, hello to any of the <laughs> two people who will be watching this. The Truth DT started his journey on YouTube on January 25th, 2013, creating his first video titled Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3 Mod Walkthrough, a video he stated to put up because he saw no one else covering it at the time. Um, I've noticed that while there's been a million playthroughs and walkthroughs and LPs and everything you can think of of 1.3, the newest version, uh, 0.0.6, there hasn't been any vids or run-throughs of the Deep Dungeon that I've been able to find, so I figured why not give it a shot? Starting to grow his catalog with daily uploads covering Final Fantasy Tactics, Soon, his love for the series Dragon Ball Z began to surface on his channel. On March 6, 2013, with his very first playthrough of Dragon Ball Z Legendary Super Warriors, a 2D turn-based card game originally released for the Game Boy Color on November 8, 2002. Dragon Ball Z is pretty much, for me, the best anime ever, best cartoon ever, one of my favorite shows of all time. And this right here, I think, is the best Dragon Ball Z game there is. In the videos, he constantly states his love for Dragon Ball as a series, planting the seeds for what made the Truth DT who he is today. As he continued to upload content, he began experimenting with uploading playthroughs of other games, like Resident Evil, Battletoads, The Walking Dead, Shining Force, and many others, while continuing to finish playthroughs of other games. Finding some success with his playthroughs of Shining Force 2, a tactical RPG released in 1993. While the videos uploaded were undoubtedly low quality, there's a certain level of charm to Nick's personality. Alright, let's have... Chester race in and heal Peter. There, now we're at full health. God damn it, Bowie. Get a turn. Thank you. Die, bitch. Holy shit, it didn't kill him. Oh my god. One that stayed consistent throughout all of his videos at the time. However, despite the attempts to push his videos into the algorithm through the sheer volume of content he consistently produced, the Truth DT struggled to gain any traction within the YouTube algorithm. It wasn't until the release of the PS4 that his content took a significant turn. Alright, what's up kids? So, as you can see, I got the PlayStation 4. Uh, I went ahead and I ordered this bad boy on Amazon.com. I figured that'd be a little smarter than waiting in those long ass lines. On September 30th, 2016, he started his playthrough of Dragon Ball Xenoverse, a title heavily requested by his audience. Unfortunately, starting over a year after its release and just a month before the sequel of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, the series garnered limited viewership. Sadly, in the midst of his Dragon Ball Xenoverse playthrough, the True TT fell ill, confining him to his bed. However, following this period of sickness, he stumbled upon a game that would alter the course of his life forever. Ah, yes. So it has begun. I have gotten into this crack slash heroine known as Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle is a mobile gacha game that quickly spread throughout the world following the release of its global version on July 16th, 2015. Like many others at the time, the Truth DT quickly started making content on the game. Eventually halting playthroughs on other games, he began to upload Dokkan Battle videos more consistently, starting out as a global player and eventually switching to the Japanese version of the game, following the release of LR Goku Black due to the global version being more than four months behind. Eventually, Global Dokkan went into its second year anniversary, leading to his first Dokkan video collaborating with Animated Muscle, a popular Dokkan YouTuber at the time. What's up, guys? We're back for another Dokkan video. We're going to be doing something pretty special this time. I'm actually going to be doing a race with one of my idols. I'm welcoming, welcoming him to the channel for the first time. Animated muscle. On July 18th, 2017, the True TT uploaded a two part video titled Fire Collab Super Sand 4 Race with Animated Muscle, with both parts being split between each creator's channels. With persistent uploads and multiple collabs with Animated Muscle, the True TT had exploded in the community. Soon, the True TT started uploading Dokkan Battle content exclusively, showing that he not only had a super energetic personality, but he also had massive knowledge on the game. The Japanese version imploded yesterday, y'all. There was no summon banners for hours. 
bro. Like, I understand you guys on Global want stones, but like there was a huge problem on JP. A gigantic problem. Skipping to November 14, 2017, Dokkan Battle faced scrutiny following the release of his Kefla due to a bug introduced in version 3.8.0. This bug caused the pullable character list on the banner to display inaccurate information. Despite the developers' quick actions to solve the problem, suspicions lingered within the community. Some members accused Akatsuki of manipulating banner rates in favor of prominent players including YouTubers. To clarify the situation, the Truth ET followed up with a video analyzing the initial Reddit post that sparked the controversy, aiming to alleviate negative sentiments towards the game. However, the Truth ET's optimistic outlook on Akatsuki's handling of the game would later be used against him for many years to come. Just 16 days after the controversy had settled, he celebrated reaching nearly 20,000 subscribers in a video, updating viewers on his channel's future plans, and addressed the reopening of his Discord community, highlighting necessary changes following the server's previous takedown. After many users joined the server, the Truth ET noticed unacceptable behaviors, including racism and offensive jokes, which he believed should not have been permitted. A lot of times that's just really not me, so a, a lot of times things would get really out of hand. Uh, people would tweet me and be like, yo, look at all this racist shit going on in the Discord right now. And I'd just look at it and be like, what, what is going on, bro? But because the context is very limited, I'm going to let Ignit talk about it. Hey, what's up, guys? Ignit here. And Oni asked me to hop in and talk about the To The Truth DT server. So there's been two servers in his lifetime on YouTube. Now, the first one, his very first one, obviously, he just created it because as a content creator, it's pretty good to be able to interact with your fans. It helps build a little relationship. Shows you more as a human instead of just, you know, some robot that makes YouTube videos. And the issue that came around with that server is it kind of got really toxic really fast. Uh, really, really fast. Uh, there is a lot of bad words being said. There's some sexism being thrown in there. Just typical edgy stuff was happening. So we came to the conclusion that's better just to delete the server and start over and make it a member only server instead of just letting anybody join. That way it'll be a little bit easier to moderate it and then keep very track of everything instead of just having any random person just make an account, hop in the server, and then boom, bang, bomb, the server is now just unreadable. <laughs> uh, but yes, that's pretty much it. Uh, bye bye. For the most part, the Truth DT was found to be a beloved member of the community growing more and more as the year went on, leading to an insane reveal on March 12th, 2018. Hey everybody, this is Quinn Goss. Hey, we're at uh, my friend Nick's house, and uh, he's a YouTube gamer. This guy has lots of subscribers. He's been building up, he's been doing it for five years. So man, we're about to head inside and go check out, you know, how his, he, be, he began and how he, he's built up his craft. So let's head, on, let's head on inside and go see what's up. It was revealed that Quentin Gauz, an ex-undrafted NFL free agent for the Philadelphia Eagles and an ex-practice squad member for the Denver Broncos, was a friend of the Truth DT. The video goes over the Truth DT's growth on YouTube while also allowing viewers to see a side of the Truth DT they had never really seen at the time, giving the audience one of the most sentimental moments seen by Nick. Well, some things yeah, I definitely like uh, trying to meet people, meet other YouTubers is smart, but you have to do it in a smart way. Like you do need to build yourself up. You need to build up a reputation because like if you're just trying to hit up some of these bigger cats, like looking to do like collabs or something, you're just, you're using them. The big advice is to upload every day. And like a lot of people, like you're going to upload every day and you're going to get one view or zero views, four views. It's a process, you gotta build it up. Mm. It's just on if you're gonna give up on your dream quickly or you're just gonna keep going. I think that's basically what separates the people who have made it on YouTube from the ones that have quit. While this moment wasn't at all what boosted his career, the Truth DT kept this mindset on content creation while staying consistent with daily uploads. Unfortunately, just a year later, the Truth DT would hit the lowest point in his online career after meeting gym leader Shayla, an individual who would make a massive impact on his life. Anybody who has been following Truth's journey online is pretty familiar with his interest in e-girls, women who have formed an online presence most commonly because of their looks. Truth would be seen interacting and messaging multiple women who fell under this umbrella all the time on Twitter. Despite this, nothing major came from these interactions until early August 2019 when the Truth DT would get a comment from Shayla on one of his posts talking about Dokkan. After the interaction on Twitter, just days later, Shay would message Truth in DMs, and soon their relationship began to grow. As the relationship grew, Truth felt comfortable promoting her YouTube channel and generally interacting with her more publicly, leading to Truth DT to fly himself out to her in February of 2020, buying her gifts and spending thousands of dollars on her as the relationship went on. On July 12th, 2020, the Truth DT made his first video collaborating with Shay in the form of a summoning video for Global Dokkan's fifth year anniversary. Oh! It is time. 
The five year anniversary is here on Global Dokkan, and I got a special Pokemon training guest to hop on the channel. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> the video shows just how far the relationship had come. Sadly, things weren't as they seemed, resulting in the end of their relationship later that month. After the breakup, Truth made a couple tweets venting his frustrations and deleted them soon after and apologized for the outburst on his channel on July 31st, 2020. Um, the other day, uh, I did get pretty drunk and uh, tweeted out something I probably shouldn't have. Well, it was like the most drunk I've ever been. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, a lot of people kind of made assumptions and stuff like that. Um, obviously, I'm talking about Shay. And, you know, she's never... I've never um, said anything negative about her on here. And it's, I'm never going to, right? There's no reason to. Um... She is a very, very awesome person. Um, so I saw a bunch of people were saying pretty bad things about her that are just definitely not true. Like, um, she's never used me, nothing like that. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> uh, and like, uh, YouTube, right? Like, um, Again, people are saying mean things like she used me for subs and stuff like that. But like, I, I talked Shay into to starting her channel. Like, it's, <laughs> like go watch her first video, right? Like, she's she's never done anything wrong. She's um, she's a really good girl. Um, go you know, go talk to her about anime manga. She's super super nice, right? She's very very friendly. One of the most friendly people I've ever met. You can talk to her about Grand Cross. She's super into Grand Cross, right? She's obsessed with Grand Cross. Um. But definitely, uh, please do not harass her about me. <laughs> I would ask that. Um, she doesn't deserve it, right? So, uh, yeah, she's awesome. I uh, love the girl. That's all I've got to say about that. Later that year, on August 21st, 2020, Truth made a thread going over all the negative things Shay had done during the relationship. Most notably, talking about her cheating on him and the fact that he had spent over $100,000 on her in the entirety of the relationship. Shayla made her own posts, calling out Truth and exposing messages between them. In the messages are some of the most personal details seen from Truth yet, going over his past experience with a sex worker and the way he would react during many of their fights. Soon, Shayla blocked Truth, but still made many comments behind closed doors. Most notably, a threat to harm her because of the drama, causing Truth to apologize again, though he deleted the tweet soon after he had hard evidence of Shayla cheating on him. With the fights between them being public and lasting for months, some members of the community used this as ammunition against Truth. They would reply to him with screenshots of messages from the previously mentioned threads in an attempt to get a reaction out of him to their success. During this period in his life, he was quick to respond to anyone talking about him and Shay, causing many people to debate a negative reaction out of him. One thing he desperately wanted to clarify was that Shay was not using him for money, as she offered many times to give all the gifts he had given her back to him. The Truth DT was at his absolute lowest point, with it even leaking into his content, something many of his viewers noticed throughout the year, as he would continuously talk about her in videos. While the entire situation is quite sad, it is almost inspirational, because fortunately, the Truth DT has come out of the situation with an almost positive outlook on it. It has helped him grow as a person and caused him to take the heat of people trying to get a reaction out of him online, something many people on the platform might not have been able to do. The Truth DT has had many controversies, but despite them, none have stopped him from being one of the most successful Dokkan YouTubers the community has seen. With him still continuing to upload to this day, and still finding great success on the platform, the Truth DT will go down in history as one of the best examples of a Dokkan YouTuber finding success, while also inspiring many to create content of their own.